Hi, my name is John Tyler. I'm the author of nine books. Five of those books are Bible-oriented. The name of my podcast that I'm going to start out doing maybe once a week or as news uh, comes about, it's entitled, as you can already read, News and Bible Prophecy Collide. The news for the past several years, I'd say 10 or 15 years, has already been proving that the Bible prophecy talking about the end times is coming about, and it is coming about in this generation, this one. So, I have to ask you this, and this is what I'm going to set up in my podcast that's coming up uh, soon. This is just a little highlight session for you. But the news about Iran, Iran and their nukes. Why are they building nukes? Why do they want nukes? Some of you probably know, but I'm going to tell you why they want the nukes. Then there is Israel on my little map here. Israel, they have a goal as well. Their goal is to build a new holy temple on top of Mount Zion. There's a problem with that right now, and that is that Arab control over the top of Mount Zion has been in effect since the Six-Day War uh, that happened uh, in 1967. Why does Israel want to build a temple? And they will build a temple, and the Bible clearly states that they will build a temple, and then things are going to happen. I'm going to uh, brief you on that situation as well, combined with the news of the day. Now, when will Israel build that temple? Jesus has told us that we nobody knows the day or the hour, but we will know the season. Friend, let me tell you something. We're in that season right now, but I have to prove it to you. I've studied the Bible for over 50 years. You can probably see that I have white hair, way past gray. So um, I have studied the Bible and I know exactly what's going to happen. And then every time I see a news headline, I say to myself, how does that square with Bible prophecy calling for a time called the end of days? Now. President Trump, is he going to be a part of God's master plan, which is to bring about these end of days? Short answer is this, yes. A lot of Christians say, oh goody, Donald Trump is the president. I said the same thing. Donald Trump is the president. Uh, we're praying for him every day that God will give him wisdom and stamina and strength and the ability to ward off all of these barbs being tossed his way by the progressive media, the Democrat Party, some rhinos we call them, uh, Republican in name only. But the answer, the short answer is yes, Donald Trump is clearly, and it dawned on me a little while ago, how he fits into God's plan for the end times. And you'll see that it's true once you hear and see what I'm going to tell you. So that's the teaser, if you will. I'm going to talk a little bit about progressives. You think that the progressives are just like uh, political people. They are. But progressives really um, are... I call them communists in sheep's or progressive clothing. I've written a book about that as well. It's on my book site at uh, www.relationshipbooks.com. All my books are free. Uh, I read somewhere in Proverbs, uh, buy wisdom but don't sell it. So I don't sell it, I give it away for free. Okay, so progressives. Now listen to this. This is part of the news. You wonder why has the Democrat Party, why they're leaning toward socialism. Socialism is the first step toward communism. It's intentional, and I'm going to go over some things with you from a 1963 communist manifesto, 
which will show you that the progressives, I call them progressive slash communist slash socialists, have a manifesto, the plan, and it copies the 1963, actually 1959, communist manifesto. It was just recorded in the congressional record in 1963. So I'm going to cover that. And you will see when I cover that how the news and the Bible mesh right together to prove that the end times are here now in your generation. I don't want to scare you, but if you're interested, you stay tuned right here and we'll cover all aspects of Bible prophecy versus the news cycle. See you next time.